Um, but the point is, we all need motivation. And it's how you get people motivated. And if it's a game, if it's a band, whatever, then that's the way forward. It doesn't need complicated solutions. So access to the NHS for innovators, it's a minefield. So on the one hand, we've got, we want to innovate, we want new things coming in. But I, what I'd like to see us looking at over the next day are the barriers and how we can overcome them. Maybe the reality is that we can't. You know, maybe we need to go straight to the consumer market. Maybe we need a totally different model. The other acknowledgement I make is that digital is not a magic bullet. If you put digital onto broken systems, they're not suddenly going to transform things. That's the reality. It's not about digital. It's actually looking at what are the problems that need solving. And let's start, you know, with the sort of the basics. But so much of digital in the healthcare and housing world basically is boring. It's a real turn off. So there's something about the language we use and the total paradox that we are not using technology to connect all of these things going on. There is so much exciting going on. And then you go to meetings in help and care and you get overwhelmed by PowerPoints and reports that are not exciting. So there's something here about how we need to bring everything together and make it easy for people to access stuff that is going to make a real difference to the quality of their lives. Social media has democratised access to information. And one of the challenges, of course, for organisations is that it's leading the public to have greater expectations of transparency, accountability and openness. And the social space, whether you feel comfortable about it or not, is going to be one of the key areas where new exciting developments happen.